Hi folks, it's Vitaly from HelpingHandAffiliate.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Google Core update that was released in July of this year. What to know about it, what to do if you were affected negatively by it, what to do if you were affected positive, positively by it, and everything you need to know about the update and basically how to come out on top. In my personal case, when the June update came out uh, on June 2nd, this was pretty much me because two of my websites were hit, and this is me after the July update. So this kind of gives you a preview of what I personally experienced in June where the first part of the update came out and then July 2nd where the second part of the update came out. Uh, basically this year one of the most major updates happened in the Google algorithm which is known as the core update and uh, what happened was in June 2nd of this year, uh, basically what ended up happening was that a new feature was added pretty much across the entire Google search engine where people, if they look for anything that they're interested in, a new thing pops up which is known as the people also ask for snippet. And basically if you do some kind of keyword search like how to lose weight fast, there's obviously gonna be ads at the very top. There's gonna be a number one ranked site, but usually under the number one ranked site, you're gonna have this option. And then you're gonna have the other pages that were ranked really well before. Now, the thing about this particular update is that a lot of websites, including mine, who were ranking really well uh, on page one of Google, that is, but not necessarily on the first spot of Google, this new feature, the people also ask for option, kind of distracts people's eyes from these other sites that are underneath it. And so what ended up happening, at least in my case, is that many of my first page rankings, they remained in the same spot after the first core update that was released in June. But because this kind of came into the picture, it bounced on top of my website and any other website that was on page one. And that, in my opinion, distracted people's eyes. And many of the search results that you see in these common questions, they're not necessarily the same results that you see down here. So a lot of websites are landing up here that would otherwise not be as authoritative as these sites were. So what ended up happening was that these snippets, the people also ask for thing, it's now kind of giving people quick answers for short questions that they may have and they're done after that with this search and they're not going to click on these websites and so what ended up happening is that a lot of the websites that were ranking on the first page even though they had the same first page rankings including mine um, that took away people's eyes the people also ask for option and they just you know they were done with their search and so I got less traffic a lot of other people got less traffic and when the June update came out for the first time um, this made me think that my site was penalized by Google and it actually wasn't. My rankings were still there and it was fine. And in fact, let me just show you um, something real quick. So uh, this was after the June update from one of my websites. You can see there's a huge drop in traffic but the impressions were actually, which is the purple line, it's not really going down. And this was my first sign where this doesn't seem right. How is it that my impressions, which means how often my site appears on Google for certain uh, search keywords, why is it still pretty much the same, but my traffic is dropping? And the answer was because this new people also ask snippet popped out in front of my website and that distracted people's eyes and subsequently this led to a drop in traffic and then it, it kind of uh, bottomed out over here and it went up and down up and down a little bit up a little bit down but now it's kind of still in the same position where it was before however the impressions are still high and I checked my rankings and they're also still high so if you're in a position right now and I'll be showing you a second website that actually has a much more um, upward climb, but before I do that, if you're in a position right now where uh, you suffered from either the June update or the July update and your rankings are still intact, in other words, the position of your website is still the same across the board, which is pretty high, and you're doing good things like you know high quality content, uh, you're doing good types of backlinking practices, you're creating YouTube videos and embedding them on your page and also linking back to it on the actual YouTube site, you're pretty much doing fine. Uh, the only adjustment that you can make based on what I've seen is that um, you can add more questions and answer type uh, things on your posts, uh, which is basically going to help make it more likely that it'll pop up in this section over here. However, keep in mind that this is sort of like a two-sided coin because uh, people that find their answers in the Google search from this particular snippet, they don't necessarily click on this page. Let's say that they you know, look for this question over here and they get their answer over here. They're not going to click on this and then go uh, you know, into the site. And this might be something that I think gets adjusted in the future. I was mentioning this in a previous video that I made on the June update because what I feel is going to happen is that there's going to be a lot of websites that may not necessarily be high quality that land in this particular people also ask for section. And that might ruin the user's 
user's experience in the long run. So it may be possible. This is my personal um, assumption. I wouldn't. I don't classify myself as like the best SEO expert in the world. In fact, I talk to a lot of other people, which gave me the information that I'm relaying to you today that know this game much better than I do. But it's very possible that the people also ask for option might get put down to the very bottom of the first page search results. In my personal opinion, in the long run. So the point is, what you can do is add a few Q and A's about whatever it is that you are writing posts about right now, but make sure that that doesn't encompass the entire content that you have. You still want to focus on high quality content. And if you're writing nothing but questions and answers, in my personal opinion, that's not the best type of example of high quality content in the long run. So I've been doing a little bit of that for this particular website that I was showing you. Um, now, additionally, here's an interesting update. This is the second site that I have. And this is a very different story than what you saw with this website where it kind of bottomed out, but it hasn't really fully recovered in traffic. It has pretty much stayed the same in impressions. But this one, this one has a very different um, down and up kind of result. Now, this is a second site that I'm running and it, it was already kind of going down a little bit. Uh, before the update hit. The update hit around here, but it was already going down in traffic and impressions beforehand. So one thing that I learned from one of the other SEO experts that I talked to is that sometimes, even though an update like in this case was uh, going to hit on June 2nd, um, in, in certain cases with authority websites, the update hits those authority websites before the period where it's going to go through. So in other words, if it was June 2nd, in my personal case, the update might have started affecting my site before the update officially took place. Uh, I didn't know that was possible, but I only learned about that recently. But anyway, it, it went down in traffic and impressions. The uh, traffic, by the way, is the blue line and the uh, impressions is the purple one. And it kind of bottomed out over here and then it kind of does a little bit of a swing, then it goes down and then it starts going back up again in both the impressions and the traffic. And now it's higher in traffic than it was before in impressions, it's still climbing. And with this particular website, I didn't really make that many changes to begin with. It was already doing well and I was told to basically stay the course and continue doing what I was doing, which is writing good quality content. I was uh, always and I still continue to target very low quality, uh, low uh, competition keywords, not low quality keywords, low competition keywords to write content on, which makes it more likely that I'll pop up on the first page. I do a little bit of Q and A's across the site, just like I do on the first one. Um, and because this particular site deals with travel and we're in the summer season right now, it's very likely that because people like to travel more in the summer, they start looking up more things re revolving around the travel subject. And because a lot of my website uh, ranks for popular spots that I've personally visited, it's possible that this is also leading to higher traffic, uh, higher impressions and all that sort of stuff. But the point is, this is a much more optimistic view than this one, even though I do have good hopes for this one moving forward. Uh, but the point is, I didn't really make drastic changes to the site. I continue to build good quality content, you know, go for those low competition keywords. I was always and I still continue to internally link across my website so people get a good experience overall. I continue to make uh, YouTube videos for this particular site and link them back to it. I also socially share on this particular site, which also helps with backlinking. Um, and the point that I'm trying to make is as long as you stick to these important things, which is the same thing, by the way, that I said a month ago about the first part of this update, you're really going to be okay. Okay. Um, I've had some people reach out to me and message me about their drops in traffic and then they saw a recovery right afterwards. One of the important things to understand about these updates is that very often um, the initial update that hits or doesn't hit you isn't a sign that this is going to continue to be that way. In other words, let's say that the first update came out on June 2nd and you avoided it. In other words, you weren't hit negatively by it. Then the July one came and you were hit negatively by it. Don't assume that this is what's going to continue happening. Like your site dropped and that's it. It's never going to come back and you're screwed, all that kind of stuff. You, because these updates always take a much longer time to roll out. It's not like, you know, the, the cutoff point hits on July 2nd, which was when the recent update hit and then boom, that's just, you know, all the sites are either hit or they're not hit. And if you weren't hit, you avoided it. And if you were hit, that's the way it's going to be forever. That's not the case. Very often because Google has to go through billions of websites, it's not going to do that in one day. The, the, the second, uh, the July 2nd update that hit is when um, this 
started happening and in some cases for some sites it started happening before but the point is this very often takes a much longer time than just one day to roll out so if you even if you were hit negatively for the first day don't assume that you have to change everything around and start you know writing your website making nothing but questions and answers that's a bad idea if you're doing good stuff for SEO and that was always giving you good long-term results don't change that game plan up keep doing that because in the long run this is what's going to keep you at the top of the SEO game with whatever it is that you're doing um, and know that if you're following that and you were hit negatively by the recent update, that there is a chance for recovery. In fact, there's a good chance of it. I mean, this site proves it. This site, it didn't really lose, you know, traffic for negative uh, things. It, the, the impression stayed the same, which means that the site didn't really, you know, lose its, uh, its, its focus. It's just that the people also ask for thing came around and that pushed my website down, which is why less people saw my website, but it's not like it was penalized. And that's a very important distinction to, to understand. If your rankings are still the same, you're doing the right things for SEO and that's what you should keep doing. So that's what I wanted to get across in this particular video. I am going to embed it on an article, which is right underneath this website which takes you to this uh, article that I wrote on the subject that's going to get into more details about how to analyze uh, your website based on the way that I was analyzing my websites uh, and the way that they were affected by the Google core update and this is going to help you a lot if you're not already familiar with you know how to look at these things and how to draw the right conclusions based off that because I get into some really micro analytical um, uh, ways of thinking about these updates so that can really help you as well and overall give you a really good optimistic outlook on the SEO game because if this is your first time experiencing in a Google update and being affected negatively by it of course you're going to be upset I certainly was when this update hit but I've been in this game for a long time and I've seen these ups and downs before so you shouldn't let one update if it hit you negatively make you quit the SEO game because understand that a lot of people when they get hit by these things they're gonna quit and that gives you the opportunity to enter into a lot of these um, SEO uh, empty spaces if you want to put it that way and start ranking for keywords where there was once competition where there's no longer competition for so I, I uh, long term wise I'm very optimistic about this kind of stuff I could be wrong of course but like I said I am getting my data and information uh, from my own experiences first of all and from people that know the SEO game better than I do and have had much better results than I've had in the long run so I'm very fortunate to know these people and I'm relaying that information to you in this video as well so if you have any questions you're more than welcome to ask me about that whether it be on YouTube or perhaps if you're on my website right now uh, but with all of this said thanks a lot for watching and I hope this gives you a much more optimistic outlook on the Google Core update and the SEO game moving forward so take care